I knew that I was destined to work in a field that dealt with patients and their care. I really loved that there was a, a technical portion in terms of dealing with the machine and the imaging, but also the patient care portion, which was the most important to me, just being able to be a part of a patient's journey and help in their care. My name is Rona Suki. I graduated in 2020 from the Magnetic Resonance Diploma Program at the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. As a magnetic resonance imaging technologist, we produce diagnostic imaging for our patients with a powerful magnet and radio waves. With it being a powerful magnet, we do extensive screening of our patients to determine their safety before going into the scan. When we determine that they are safe, we do the scanning and produce the best quality of images possible for their care. A typical day as a magnetic resonance imaging technologist is an eight hour shift. I work at the Red Deer Regional Hospital where we do have one magnet and we have three technologists on staff per shift. One technologist would be screening a patient, preparing them for the scan, while another one already has their patient potentially in the scanner, completing their scan, and we're just consistently having one patient out and one patient in, so we are always keeping that magnet occupied and making sure we can scan the maximum amount of patients per day. Previous to the pandemic, I was just a student in my clinical practicum. And then when the pandemic hit, after a couple of weeks, we were actually pulled from the program when I did start working. Initially, a lot of the scans were down booked, so we were not scanning as much patients. Our cleaning practices in between patients changed extensively. We were now wearing masks at all hours. All of our patients were being screened. They were also wearing masks. Anyone with potential symptoms were placed in a separate isolation room. And we were also maintaining social distancing in our waiting areas, making sure that if we were falling behind and our waiting rooms were filling up, we were staggering our patients, keeping them at a social distance. So with our education, with our program, there's an eight month didactic in school portion and a clinical portion. In that eight month didactic, we are learning the foundation of our knowledge, the basis of what we need to know before heading out into the field. But I think the most beneficial learning was when we were out in that field, when we started our clinical practicum in the real life setting. We had the foundation, we had the knowledge that we learned in school, and we were able to apply it in real life scenarios with real patients. To me, I believe that was the most crucial part of our learning and it was the best way to learn. So one main concept that we really learned in school with patient care was communication. How to communicate with patients who were extremely anxious and just the styles of communication. It's very important in MRI to be able to reassure your patient and walk them through a scan that can be very scary for them. Just being able to confidently walk them through it and talk to them in the proper manner is really important so we can get them the best quality of images for their own care. Graduating from a polytechnic school, you feel fully prepared to enter the workforce. It's not a matter of where do I start, what do I do next. You know exactly where you're going, what you want to do, and how to get there because you're fully prepared with that practicum, with the learning that you've received from the schooling. 